All right, welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna start doing fun stuff, right? So we're gonna be doing the two tasks that are important. One is pushing data up to the cloud, and then the other is pulling data down from the cloud. We're gonna break them in two videos. This one we're just gonna push, right? So it's just gonna make our lives a little easier. Uh, so make sure that you've got your uh, forge open, so your database open, uh, and some other tab here. So I'm just gonna go to my database. Because in this lesson, we're just going to be pushing things, which means the only thing you're going to see is going to be on this screen, right? So it's going to like change the color uh, on this screen. So what I want to do is we want to come into our code, uh, and we want to start making some changes to the view controller. Uh, so in the view controller, uh, we want to first do an import of Firebase. Uh, so that was the uh, at import uh, Firebase. Great. And then what we want to do is we want to start with just a really simple test. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to do a really simple test. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get a reference uh, to the Firebase uh, and then uh, just push a value, right? So syntax takes time. Um, if you wanted to get better at learning syntax, uh, where, it's, where you get better with the syntax is at firebase.google.com slash docs. Um, and there's a lot of documentation in here. Instead of forcing you to, to kind of start, uh, so you just need like getting started guides for iOS and the API reference, uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple things just to help get you moving, right? So what we ultimately want is we want a fur, which is nice, uh, database reference. So that's what we're trying to make. Uh, I'm just gonna call it ref, just to keep the name nice and short. The way you do it is you call a function on the fur database, um, and the function you call is database. And then on that object, you call reference. Um, I don't make APIs, I just tell you how they work. Uh, so that is uh, one way, uh, the way that I know at least, uh, to get a reference to your, to your Firebase. You don't have to specify the URL anymore, uh, in case you've done Firebase before, you used to have to, because that's now done in the configure step, right? And so what we're going to do with that ref um, is we're going to actually get a child. Um, and the child that we're going to get is for the, uh, let's just say, favorite color path. So if you wanted to drill down into your tree, so this ref is to the top layer. Um, if we wanted to drill down to the color layer, we just say child color. And what we're going to do with this layer is we're just going to set um, our favorite color uh, let's just go with purple. Don't really care what you set it to. So we got a reference uh, and we set it to purple. Uh, this is actually enough code to run uh, to see something happen. So what we're going to hopefully see here, if I can get all these other stupid windows out of my way, um, is when I run this, um, it's going to change this gray uh, to the word purple as soon as it loads. So it's loading up uh, and sure enough, bam fired and sent it to purple. Cool. That was like our cool first step, right? That was the first time we've had our app actually talk to the cloud. So, so that was kind of cool. Uh, so I know the last video lecture was painful, but it got all these things set up to where you could just start using them. So what we're going to do is instead of writing to things when our app launches, which is kind of silly, uh, we're going to make a couple references. So we're going to grab a Firebase ref uh, to the, we'll just call it color ref, uh, and then we'll also grab one off to the, the number ref, right? Uh, so favorite color, favorite number. And then instead of actually just pushing a value to it right here, what I really want to do is I want to grab just this inner part. Uh, so just grab that part and say self.color ref is equal to uh, that inner part. Um, I'll keep this around as my reference for later. But really, I just want to grab the main URL ref, uh, and then I want to set my color ref, uh, and also my number ref, right? So now I can access those two locations uh, without having to like worry about going through anything. Great. Uh, so in order to push data, so this was like a good example of pushing data. You just say set value and what it what it does. Uh, what the heck? I'll kind of copy this uh, down below because I know I'm going to need something kind of sort of like it. So right now, what red does is red 
sets the local variable. We're, we're not going to use local variables, right? So in fact, I'm pretty sure I could delete uh, that color. Now I still kind of sort of use it later. But what I want to do is I want to say uh, color ref uh, set value, and we want to set the value in the cloud to be red. So I no longer really need any of this other stuff. So I'm just going to set it to red, um, and then white, and then blue, making sure not to make copy paste errors. Uh, and then I'm going to kill my local ones. So that doesn't look like much. Um, in fact, it's going to kind of make my app behave worse because I've kind of broken my app because my, my reads are from local data and my pushes are to Firebase data. And it kind of is going to look bad at first, but it's going to all come together later. But what we should be able to do here is if I click red, um, it pushes red. Uh, if I click white, it pushes white. And if I click blue, uh, it goes to blue. If I click on update for Firebase, nothing really useful happens yet because we're going to do that in the next video. But I mean, we're pushing stuff to the cloud and that should be exciting enough for now, right? It's probably not, but it, uh, we'll get there. Uh, let's do the same thing uh, for the favorite numbers. Um, so if I go to this increment area, I'm going to basically do something kind of like this, except for instead of color ref, it's going to be a uh, number ref. And I'm going to set the value to something. The value that you want to set it to is, is like a, just a plain old number. Um, it has to be wrapped as an NS number. So it's going to be a number with a long is what we're going to do. And what we're going to set it to is we're going to set it to self dot favorite color, or sorry, favorite number. Uh, plus one. Kind of like having parentheses around it too. Uh, I think it kind of looks better, um, but obviously if you don't want them, you don't have to have them, right? Now nah, I won't do them. So you can see uh, that right now I've made the app much worse because used to, this used to modify the local variable, which we're not going to modify local variables at all anymore. We're just going to push it to the cloud. Um, and it used to do the update in here uh, I'm just going to delete it for now and just know that we're going to make a change later. So we've broken it. We've made it kind of much worse, but we've made a good building block, right? So whatever the favorite number is, add one to it. Now we're never reading to it, uh, so its values are going to always be plus one or minus one of whatever I set it to here. So I set it to zero here. It's going to be one whenever I click this button and negative one when I click this button. Um, and that'll be, for now, uh, working as intended, right? So if this thing comes up, if I click on uh, white, you can see it pushes white still. If I say increment, it goes to one. If I say decrement, uh, it goes to negative one. And the reason it's doing that is because we're not reading, so if I click it again, it, it still is just one, right? Um, and we're not reading that one from the cloud, so it's forever incrementing from the number it knows, which is zero. Right. Cool. All right. So that's pushing uh, and pushing is pretty easy to do. Um, you just set a value. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do in Firebase, but the main one is just set value. So you're pointing to some spot. You've got a reference to a location in Firebase uh, and you're just setting its value to something else. Easy peasy. All right. Come back next time and we'll do uh, retrieval from the cloud. I'll see you then.